when we are in session, we have uh, we have to take painting, we have to take sculptures, we have to take drawing, we have to uh, take up pre-making. And somewhere 74 or 75 was the beginning of majoring. So they, uh, whoever interested majoring in painting, they start doing painting, and who want to major in pre-making, they push to pre-making, and those who want to do sculptures, they do sculptures. And uh, the common subject then was uh, the liberal areas as well as drawing. So everybody had to do liberal studies and everybody had to do drawing. I decided to do my major in print in ITM. So there are four of us who, who want to do the major. Yeah, Abdul Aziz Abdul Rahman, uh, he's in uh, East Coast now, and Zafaruddin Zainuddin. But somehow or other, I fumble and I start to do painting. So in 1977, when I went abroad, I start to major in print. So, uh, well, even though I, I was, I went, I wasn't majoring in uh, print making, but since four four of us are always together, so we we talk about. A pin, painting, sculptures, pin, painting, sculptures, all, all, all that, yeah. And uh, this that we do have inspectorate from uh, America, Carol Rotsinger, who teaches uh, etching. So, so Kok Yupa was dealing with the uh, silk screen. The, the, the medium chosen then was it's a free medium. Now you can major in uh, in etching, or you can major in silk screen, or you can major in woodcuts. Okay. Uh, it is it, all up to us. Well, uh, then uh, we were so called uh, experimenting on uh, photo etching. Etching is just a uh, start off in 1973 when we purchased uh, one big etching press. So the knowledge on uh, photo etching is at the bare minimal. But uh, with the consultation from the photography department and with the ease of purchasing the material, that the, the, the ideas was realized. Uh. Yeah. So, uh, one of uh, his masterpiece at that point in time was Waiting for Godot. That's Swayman's masterpiece, yeah. In, even even in, uh, in silk screen, we don't have any sophisticated machine. And the technique are also, also at the bare minimal. But between uh, when we were students, Hua and uh, four of us was experimenting on photo uh, silk screen. Somehow or other, we start to experiment with uh, tungsten light, with fluorescent light. Then Venus was selling these uh, photo emulsions. Right? That, that makes things easier. That's that uh, we, we are not... Uh, so called uh, familiar with the uh, the uh, resistance of the photo emulsion, so we have to experiment that. So uh, what follows is the juniors. Uh, the ju juniors start to benefit from the experiment that we did. Uh, so they do all sort of things. Uh. We did stay together though. He was teaching us between seventy four seventy five. After graduation, somehow or other, we linger around and we met and we decided to stay together near Lee Kian Singh's place, yeah, Taman Berkeley. We stayed together until 77. Kok Yupua, myself and Abdul Manso Ibrahim, also a pre-maker. Me, Manso and Kok Yupua, somehow or other, our... The group starts to, to split because Manso left for Paris, 76. 
I left for UK in 77. So left alone for Yupua. So when I came, I came back, then I met him uh, in his studio 22. That studio basically is between his business and his passion for uh, working in the artistic way. Right? So he worked during the day and he paint at night, something like that. And, and that is, it, it goes on for quite some time. But uh, it was a makeshift thing, right? And everybody is juggling around, doing something which might end up into something or not. <laughs> the, the most important thing is mingling around together. Yeah, beside that, uh, we also mingle around with uh, Reza Fiadasa, a few others from Australia, the, the wood thought sculpture, Christopher Kane. Basically, indoctrinated by liberal studies, talking about all the ism, and studying all, all kind of ism, from ex abstract expressionism to pop art, things like that. Okay. But uh, what actually happened is studio painting still uh, is a major activity, meaning fertility painting, right? Although uh, in the final uh, years of our study, we are so -called allowed to do whatever we believe in it, but somehow or other, most of them are still painting the uh, abstract expressionists, the abstracts, and the pop art, things like that. So we are actually echoing what is available in, from the magazine, from the art books, and things like that. So everybody was talking about the Western dream in Malaysia. <laughs> then uh, what was actually happening then was while we are drowned with all the isms, right? Uh, Pia Dasa and Sulaimanisa was discreetly working on their mystical reality. So uh, that actually uh, awakened us a bit. It become our food for thoughts, uh, no? we are from the East, we are always thinking about the West, but why not the Eastern philosophy is being used or, or being induced in, in, in our art activities. We can uh, sleep in one bed, but we dream of different things. <laughs> I think <laughs> each of us have a preference, and uh, but most of us, when we work, we seldom, we don't, we don't, talk much about it. So we just do and we just say, oh, are you doing that? Okay, so it's good. Uh, everything is good. Nothing is not good. <laughs> uh, so that, that is the word of encouragement. Uh, that upon the point and everybody encourage one another. Why? Because the uh, after the mystical reality, there was a big so-called uh, polemics, and that somehow that polemic kills the rhythm of, of doing it. Huh? I don't know. We, they no longer talk about, oh, you are doing that thing, it's great. Uh, doing that thing is great. But what are you doing? Nonsense. You, you should think this. You should think that, that. Uh, thing. So everybody say, I, sh I better shut up. I don't <laughs> If I were to, uh, to call, uh, participate in the discussion, I will need to know it. So everybody, one by one, shutting up and they do what they do. That's, that, that, that's how the art scene goes, I suppose. I don't know. In 81 or 79, 80, something like that, there was a seminar on Aka Aka Pribumi. It's a mixed feeling. At that point in time, it's, it's a mixed feeling between the East and West, and, and you and I, you know, what is the difference between you and I? I'm talking, I'm a Malay, uh, speaking English, uh, you are Malay, uh, speaking Chinese. Uh, so what is the difference? So it, it, it uh, somehow or other, we uh, come together, we should actually try something out, 
from the manifestations of Aka-Aka Dasar Budaya Kebangsaan happened in 71. So everybody seriously focusing on that and trying to understand it and uh, try to doodle around it. Somehow or other, that, that start, uh, things start moving. Huh? But there again, is uh, our mentality, meaning, meaning a student mentality, right? They just grab what, is, what they see or what they saw then. Say, for example, uh, when we talk about the uh, uh, Dasar Kebudayaan Kebangsaan, they grab the national heritage. What you see, the house, the carving, the, the weaving, the, all things like that. So they pull in together and they start making, uh, not to say making, they, they redesign or making the design of what is around them. So that, that was uh, basically uh, happened until uh, mid-85. So uh, when 80, 86 onward, they start to change again. Some, somehow or other, we do nothing. <laughs> we, we do nothing because we to uh, participate in what the student is uh, struggling on, on trying to uh, try to do the manifestations of data, uh, data kebudayaan kebangsaan, right? Right. So when we come back. Ko Yupa was starting his uh, business until somewhere early 90s. Ko Yupa start to paint. So uh, I was so called uh, running around uh, trying to manage my teaching. And uh, Manso Ibrahim was also involved in teaching at uh, Maktab Sain Renda. We, we met when we met. <laughs> We don't actually have uh, so-called time to be together. So each of us are uh, flitting around and Kok Yupa was painting alone. And somehow or other, when, when we met, he talked about music, things like that. But uh, what he's painting, he doesn't talk very much because what he painted is actually the post, post activity of uh, what was once we talk about. When we were when we were together, then we are talking about the uh, what is a pop image all about, the concept of pop. What is pop? Pop art all about, right? And uh, obviously, each and every one of us start to doodle. We, we doodle a lot of things, but nothing come out. <laughs> uh, so it was uh, something uh, somewhere. Uh, early 90s that Kok Yupa come up with, with his thing you know? uh, uh, in between his business. Huh? I was basically doing my Pulau Bidung and then uh, somehow or other there again is uh, 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 those are the past mem memories that we are collaging together huh? and uh, things happen that way. What Pop Yupua did was basically a nostalgic reminiscence of Pop at that point in time, right? Everybody, once upon a time, everybody was crazy with instamatic camera, right? They come with the inventions of SLR. So, uh, uh, invention of SLR cam cameras, they, there are so many information in that camera that come to represent something, it become an index to something, right? Well, uh, I think Kok Yupua works, as I am uh, recalling now, right? It's very futuristic, you know, because uh, some or other, when then we were documenting about friends, right? Yeah. Where we group around, we have our SL camera and we start shooting. But now we have a handphone with selfie. Well, uh, artists are very futuristic anyway. So uh, they, uh, when they find new things, they, they so-called undo all the, the 
the devils in it and they start using it. Uh, somehow or other, someday, people will start to make connection to it. Yeah? 